Let's move on to number 29. Doris finished one-sixth of her work at the bank in 2.25 hours. If she continues to work at the same rate, how long will she need to finish the rest of the job? So we're given that she's finished She's finished one-sixth of the job. She needs to do five-sixths because one-sixth plus five-sixths equals six-sixths or one, the whole job. But in order to do this, one-sixth, it took her 2.25 hours. Be real handy if we knew what exactly what 2.25 hours is, which happens to be two and a quarter hours, two and a quarter. Well, if we take a quarter of an hour, that's 15 minutes, so it took her two hours and uh, two and a quarter hours, or two hours and 15 minutes. Okay. Well, here's where we uh, will set up a... We'll set up a ratio here of, uh, let's say, smaller. is the bigger. Okay. So we have the smaller, which is, let's say, we're given the smaller, which is uh, one-sixth of the job she did. And what we want to, we know that five-sixths is left. One-sixth is two. Five sixths as notice that this is the part of the job. And then I'm going to have the time over here. One sixth, and I have the smaller amount on top. I'm going to put the smaller amount two and a quarter, and I want to find how much time this represents. So what we do is we, we will uh, cross multiply. We'll multiply these together, and then we'll multiply these together, and we'll make them equal. The first one we'll do is 5 sixths times 2 and a quarter. Be very convenient if we made this 2 and a quarter, 9 quarters. 4 times 2 is 8, plus 1 is 9, 9 quarters, uh, times 5 sixths. And we can just set this equal to 9 times 5 is 45. And 6 times 4 is 24. So now we have 25 over 24. Sorry. We have 45 over 24 equals 24. We have to go up to find out 1 sixth times x. 
equals one sixth x. And the way we're going to solve this is we're going to multiply 6 to both sides of the equation to isolate the x. So we'll take 45 24 times 6 over 1 equals 1 6 x times 6 over 1. We did, we're multiplying both sides by 6, 6 over 1. The next step, the 6's cancel. And we're going to have to figure out what 6 times 45 is. Do that over here, 6 times 45. 6 fives are 30, write to 0, carry to 3. 6 4s are 24 and 3 is 27. So we have 20, 270 over 24 equals x. And 270 divided by 24 is, we have 1 times 24 is 24, and we're going to have 30 here. 24 goes into 30 uh, one time, and 1 times 24, 24, and we have 6, remainder 6, 6 24s. Well, 11, 6 24s, that 6 24s can be reduced to 11 and a quarter. And that 11 and a quarter equals 11.25. And that happens to be answer B on your worksheet, answer B, 11 and a quarter hours.